On the morning of January 26, 2005, Metrolink train 100 was headed southbound to Los Angeles Union Station. The train consisted of cab car 623 in the lead, two Bombardier coaches, and F-59 PHI 883 on the rear. Headed northbound away from Los Angeles was Metrolink train 901, consisting of F-59 PH 873 leading, two Bombardier coaches, and cab car 625 on the rear. Parked in a siding at Glendale, California was a Union Pacific freight train, which had two engines, Union Pacific SD70M4323 and CEFX SD40-2-3173. Train 100 and 901 were due to meet each other in Glendale, California, right where the freight train was. Just before the meet, the engineer of 100 notices something ahead on the tracks, and as he gets closer, he sees a Jeep Cherokee sitting right in front of him. He slams on the emergency brakes, but unfortunately, it's too late. Six twenty three hits the cab car and begins to derail. The cab car is tossed through the side and hits the lead engine of the freight train. To make things worse, the derailed cars from 100 jackknife and hit the side of 901, derailing all of its cars too. A small fire ignites between 4323 and 623. The wreck happened right next to a Costco retail store, and soon after, employees rushed out to help with the fire and the injured. Sadly, 11 people lost their lives. 177 people were injured, making this Metrolink's worst train wreck at the time. But how could a train hitting a car cause such a catastrophe? The NTSB investigated the crash, while Glendale Police led a criminal investigation. Their findings determined that the car was placed on the tracks deliberately. It belonged to a man by the name of Juan Manuel Arvarez. At the time of the wreck, Arvarez was attempting to commit suicide. His wife had recently filed a restraining order against him, stating that he had been very threatening to her and their kids. It's also said that he had been attempting suicide in the past, and this wreck was one of those attempts. On the day of the crash, he drove his gasoline-soaked vehicle onto the tracks for a train to hit, but at the last second he changed his mind and tried to move the car out of the way, but it was raining at the time, making the rail slippery, so he fled the vehicle and watched the wreck unfold right in front of him. In the end, Alvarez was found guilty and charged with 11 counts of first-degree murder. In 2008, he was taken to the Kern Valley State Prison and sentenced to life imprisonment with no possibility of parole. Really, the only engine of the wreck that received a lot of damage was 4323, and soon after, it was returned to service. However, most of the coaches and both cab cars were retired and scrapped. This was Metrolink's worst train wreck until the Chatsworth train collision of 2008. But since then, Metrolink has been doing better, but this wouldn't be the end of it.